Hello, my name's Caroline Shenton and I'm the Clerk of the Records at the Parliamentary Archives and I've written a book called The Day Parliament Burned Down. Uh, the reason I got interested uh, in this monumental event in the 19th century is because when I moved to Parliament about 13 years ago, I found myself in the search room where researchers come in to look at the records of Parliament, having to tell readers that there were barely any records of the House of Commons surviving from before 1834. And that was because in 1834, there was this gigantic fire which burnt down the ancient Palace of Westminster, which had been on site there for 800 years, along with all its records of the House of Commons and many other things as well. And I started to get very intrigued by this. And casting my mind back to earlier in my career at the Public Record Office, I suddenly remembered that I had been in charge of cataloguing tally sticks, which are part of the Public Record Office's collections, um, and that they had a part to play in the fire as well. So from that, I looked at the official report of the fire and its causes, which was published by the Privy Council. And the characters in that jumped out at me and I couldn't believe that this story wasn't better known. And researching it more and more in books about the new Palace of Westminster, which is familiar to everybody, I realised that the fire itself got very little mention and even less mention of what the old palace before it um, was about and what it looked like. And I became more and more curious. And the book itself arose out of my attempt to answer loads of questions that were popping up in my head about the fire, the buildings, their treasures, and what we as a nation lost on the 16th of October, 1834. Um, and everywhere I looked after then, suddenly became about the fire. Um, the sorts of um, activities that were going on in Parliament at the time, the Great Reform Act, the new poor law, firefighting and firefighting engines, the state of Westminster, the state of the slums around Westminster, um, the fate of the London Irish, the fate of buildings and public records in the late Georgian period, all of that became part of the book, as well as telling this gripping story of the fire that changed the face of London, um, the face of Westminster forever. And our memory of what was there before has completely disappeared because Barry and Pugin's fantastic new palace completely obliterated from our memory what was there before.